I was in Egypt staying one minute from the beach and have been swimming in the sea every day. I also found myself outside a submarine full of tourists that you will see more of in the video. After staying in hotels and resorts for a while, I was now renting an apartment temporarily and trying to figure out where I would go next. Hello everybody, welcome to another video. I am in Egypt, the east part of Egypt, in a tourist place called Hurghada. And this is the apartment where I'm staying. I was moving around to different hotels, all inclusive here for a while. But I wanted to have an apartment so I could make some food because I've been eating at restaurants a lot and there was so much salt and uh, oil and stuff in the food so I started feeling bad. So I've been in here uh, cooking my own food that has been great. <laughs> In this video I'm gonna show you a bit what it's like to live here, how much things cost, how much the groceries cost, we're going to the grocery store, we're also going to the beach, the beach is located just one minute from here. So this place here costs only $16 per night, one minute from the beach and I think that's a really good price actually considering what mod a little modern apartment like this would cost anywhere else in the world. And this is also on a day-to-day -day basis from Airbnb. If you would sign a lease here in this area, you could probably get an apartment for $300 or so per month. Uh, so $16 per day, that's $480 per month for a really modern apartment with nice new clean AC. <laughs> When I was in Mexico, for example, a couple of minutes from the beach, actually way further from the beach than what I have here, and I had to pay three times more there. I paid $1,500 in Mexico for a one-bedroom apartment like this, kind of. Um, but this is much closer to the beach, and also everything in general is way, way cheaper here. And also, this is from Airbnb.com, and the good thing about that is that you're just inside somebody else's apartment. You don't have to pay for any bills, nothing. Like electricity uh, and water, everything is included. The, pay, the price that you pay per day, that's uh, the final price. No responsibilities, like nothing. You don't have to think about anything. No bills. You wanna, when you want to go, you just bye bye. Here we go, my friends. Let's go. <laughs> So now I'm already here. The entrance to the beach is here on the left side. Less than a minute, I think. And the incredible thing about this place is that it's always good weather here in Egypt. It's located um, down south from the very south part of Europe. Sea water is super clear. Good snorkeling. There are so many coral reefs here also. This is the beach club here. We're gonna see if we can get some food also. From Egypt. Egyptian mafia. Okay. A mafia. <laughs> okay. Here, I can drop here. Right. The first time you come to Egypt? Yes, first time. Okay, perfect. You have to zero. Okay. We're gonna jump in here. I just came up from swimming, swimming and now I've been convinced to go to massage but it's working here. You drop something. <laughs> what do you drop? A oh, fish. Here is the spa. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Fine, thank you. Flora's. Flora's spa. Welcome everybody to the spa. Flora's spa. Flora's spa. Right, okay. Mora Spa. Here you can get a, a haircut. Haircut or <laughs> by this lady. Very good. Now I'm inside the massage here. I came out from the massage. It was pretty good. I needed it for my neck. Now we're gonna see if we can get some food here. 
All playing volleyball, this guy is from Germany, Christian, and then some other people from other countries. The beach is really nice. A bunch of people swimming on this side. And here we have boats you can go out on trips. Some days earlier I had also gone on a boat trip out to the Red Sea, where there are some really great coral reefs. Here are a few clips of the trip. We're on the way out to the Red Sea. <laughs> Took like 30 minutes before we started going, but now we're on the way. And I think you can go down in the glass bottom boat or somewhere here. We are here in the submarine. Uh, you can see a bit of the coral. Looks quite cool actually. Look at this. So I just got out from the submarine here, but every everybody else is still there. So I think I'm gonna jump in in front of the glass and uh, surprise everybody. Now I'm out of the beach club and there are a couple of places where you can live here, like $20 per night. Like this one here, it's called the Diamond Resort, where we have some restaurants also. I'm back! I'm back! Now I made some salad here. Salad and tuna. <laughs> I said earlier I've been eating at restaurants too much, but then I ate at the restaurant again for lunch. But now we're having really good veggies. All right, my friends. Now we're going to the grocery store. I'm going to show you what it's like to buy groceries here in Egypt and also how much the groceries cost. I will be taking an Uber over to the grocery store. And the Ubers are so cheap. I don't think I've ever seen a place where the Ubers are cheaper. You go across the whole town for like a dollar like 40 or 50 egyptian pounds <laughs> that's like yeah one dollar and 20 cents and that's also like a 20 25 minute ride there's a resort right here where i'm staying <laughs> william yes that's me Mr. William. Yes. how are you good nice nice to meet you where are you going now Mr. William? uh carrefour 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 okay yes So I got out here after a 20 minute ride. Obviously there are grocery stores closer by but I also wanted to go through the city a bit and I found out that the price of gas is 11 Egyptian pounds per liter. That's about 30 cents. Uh, so one gallon of gas is one dollar and 20 cents. Quite cheap, one of the cheapest uh, places in the world for gas. All of the Middle East and this area of the world has super cheap gas. I think also Iran has the absolute cheapest gas price in the whole world. But let's go into the grocery store now and see what we can find and how much the things cost. Here, quite a modern uh, shopping mall. Everything nice. Seventeen Egyptian pounds for the bread, thirty for the milk. A lot of things to choose from. I need to 
see if I can find some meat. I don't know what this cost. 15, I think. Not 18. for the cheese jumbo beef burger 1.5 kilos 175 only oats 40 half a kilo also got the uh, cucumber carrots bell peppers and tomatoes you got it. Like 16 20 this is 80 for two tuna salads pretty good I also got five uh, packages of noodles. I really like noodles. So quick energy. Beans and chickpeas. This is really good stuff. Very healthy. Uh, 17 for chickpeas. So the pasta is actually only 20 Egyptian pounds for one kilo of pasta. Ketchup for 20 Egyptian pounds. I like to eat uh, some quick carbs before I go running or go to the gym, like uh, noodles or pasta. Pizza, 77 pounds. I'm waiting for the Uber to head back again with all the groceries. This is probably the cheapest groceries I ever got, almost anywhere in the world, I think. Not sure why it's so cheap, because I would guess that they have to import it. All of Egypt, it's just one big desert except for the Nile River so maybe they grow some stuff <laughs> along the river but I think a lot of the groceries would have to be imported I was reading on the internet imported from India and uh, also the United States even Brazil and uh, some other country uh, Swedish Swedish yeah we speak Swedish Swedish and you speak Arabic Arabic Ar uh, me? Yes. Oh, Arabic. Arabic, yeah. Egypt Arabic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your family in here? In Cairo. Cairo. Uh, family in Cairo. Look at all this stuff I got. $30 only. All the veggies were like nothing. Like 10, 15 pounds. I don't know actually <coughs> where I'm going after I've been here in Egypt. I'm still thinking of going to that south part of Spain. I have to figure out where I want to live at some point. <laughs> Can't keep drifting around forever. Or well, maybe you can, I don't know. <laughs> when I travel, it's like always something new is happening. When I stay in the same place, it gets so boring after like a week. <laughs> I might go to the gym also. There's a gym down the street here. Maybe I'll do that. The air is good in here, also the AC is like really new. New! It's the AC. Very good AC. Actually, I have to do some laundry. We might do laundry. <coughs> the laundry now, now, now. Usually, <coughs> when I have traveled, I do laundry like in the sink. I just put the... <laughs> my shirts in the sink and put some soap in the sink and then I do some proper laundry hello let's do some laundry now oh no this one stinks actually I didn't wash this one for a while oh. detergent I don't have any detergent <laughs> No, it's almost full, my friends. It's almost full. One more, one more. And also this one, I need to wash. I've been wearing this one a lot, actually. days later I decided to move to another place because there was no swimming pool at this apartment complex. So I just left that place and um, I was speaking to a Russian girl and a guy and a girl from Poland. They had been living at this place for like three years. Said they're paying uh, 300 euros or like 300 dollars per month for everything included like electricity and everything. 
So where I'm going now is uh, quite a nice place. I'm just waiting for the host to uh, give me the key. And also right on the beach, like a uh, one minute walk to the beach down there. This apartment was also modern and close to the beach. It also had a new swimming pool and a balcony. The price was also similar to the last one. I've been also been going running a bit since I've been here. <clears throat> Usually closer to the evening when it's a bit colder. When you get just a little bit out of town, everything looks quite old here. I am trying to get up on this little mountain here behind this building. We'll see if, if I can make it there or not. You can see the water from here. I'm like on top of this city now. It's quite crazy like how <clears throat> the weather in the world is like that. Some areas in the world get no rain at all. Just one big desert. The northern parts of Africa and also into the Middle East. 100% desert. But it's always hot, no rain. <laughs> always good weather. Besides from running, staying healthy and going to the beach, I had also been swimming in the pool. Egypt had been okay, but not a place where I'd want to live permanently. It's really affordable, nice beaches and uh, Overall, pretty good. Really cheap with taxis and uh, Uber. Food is like I've never seen a place in the world that has cheaper groceries either. Uh, in the next video, I might be in a different country, maybe Spain somewhere, or who knows? I don't know. But thanks for watching this video. And um, in conclusion, I think Egypt is uh, pretty nice place to be like the water the sea the red sea is really nice you can live pretty nice and affordable affordable living good food cheap food cheap uber rides everything is really cheap um, and also the weather is always good always sunshine uh, temperature in the water is perfect sunshine every day that's what we need but thanks again for watching this video, thumbs up for the video if you liked it and also you can post a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see where I end up going because I don't know where I'm going. Maybe across the world, who knows, but see you next time.